y'all. So I was talking to another mama earlier today when we were at my daughter's swim lesson and she's an older mom and a grandma and she said that she had tried to talk to the her girls about the same thing and they didn't really take her advice and now they've come back to her later and said, I wish I would have listened to you. And so I have said this to my daughter and her friends, her roommates, that you know, you don't need to waste time on the wrong boy or the wrong man. And one of the things that I told them was that what you need to realize is that you're 20 years old and you girls have told me that you want children one day. Well, your peak time for fertility is before the age of 35. So you really have 15 years left of peak fertility. Now, after 35, can you have children? Of course you can, but things become a little more complicated. You become more high risk. Um, things are just a little bit different, a little harder. And as someone who had a child at 22 and also another child at 36, I will tell you that things definitely are more complicated at 36 than they were at 22. So now the, her and her friends are not ready to have children yet. But what they need to realize is they have 15 years. So in order to find the right person, that's probably going to take you like five years because you're going to have dating. You're going to have getting to know each other, getting to know each other's families. Um, then, I mean, finding the person first, then dating, finding the right person, then spending time together to make sure they're the right person, make sure that your morals and ethics and values and financials, everything align. And then you're going to have a period of being engaged, planning a wedding. I mean, you're talking four or five years. And so if you spend that five years with the wrong person and then you have to start that over, you have 10 years left. Um, and then maybe it's two wrong people. You have five years left. And so when you find that it is the wrong person, what you need to do is you just need to move on. And so what I tell them is go on three dates with no physical intimacy. And what you would do is after three dates, if you think that they may not be the one, just move on. And so you don't get into this never ending thing where you're with the wrong person and now you're in love with the wrong person and it's hard to leave that person even though you know that it's the wrong one or god forbid that you end up having children with the wrong person and then you end up apart and that child has to suffer for it because i've been there um i definitely know that feeling and then your child is not living with its mom and daddy in the home and so that's the thing that i want to tell you girls is that don't settle for the wrong person when you don't have time for that and you want to spend your life with the right person.